after downloading the program from the web page we double click on it and it will open like this and now first of all we will decide if we have a soilless crop in which case we would click here before adding any crop but in this case we're gonna assume a rotation where we have first a crop of maize click on M grain maize we add it and the yield is 12 tons per hectare and we gonna have a target crop tomato we add it to the rotation and this tomato is gonna be 90 tons of yield we don't have uh, analysis for the soil and the soil is uh, loam we are applying tillage so we don't have uh, soil data the only alternative for P and K is maintenance click on continue and then we have here first the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium requirements for this tomato of 90 tons we should edit the irrigation in this case would be 6000 cubic meters per hectare and choose a dilution factor let's start with a value of 400 we could uh, only uh, calculate for nitrogen or for nitrogen and potassium or for nitrogen potassium and phosphorus well, nitrogen and potassium would be the case if we apply phosphorus as basal fertilizer directly to the soil we could do acid correction for that first we should check the acids but in that case we should have at least data on the concentration of bicarbonates for uh, calculating the amount of acids to uh, to neutralize those uh, bicarbonates let's assume that we are not doing acid correction we click on continue and then we have ordered the different alternatives that we have with increasing cost the cheapest alternative is using monoammonium phosphate potassium nitrate and then urea with these amounts these are the amounts to add per cubic meter of stock solution we could click on print and then in the this uh, uh, this uh, third um, form would be sent to the printer or to a pdf file we can go back and change some of the parameters here we could mm, calculate for a higher let's say 600 uh, dilution factor and then we see that for some of these uh, fertilizers we would have precipitation of uh, uh, ammonium chloride this uh, but these other alternatives would be valid still we click on exit and then you see that in the uh, in the folder that we have installed the program there is a, an output csv file that we can open using excel or using a txt editor where we have all the results for all the alternatives that we have tested 